What's going on guys, it's Jay Hill bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Night Fawn Weekly Crucible loot from this week on all three of my characters. This week's Nightfall was the Scion Flare or the Dust Palace Strike and there was the Solar Burn, a modifier on it so a lot of good solar weapons to take out the flares pretty quickly as well as you can use Celestial Nighthawk with Golden Gun and stuff like that as well when you're using your Hunters. Uh, so pretty fun stuff. But anyways, let's get straight into my rewards for the week. Starting with my Nightfall rewards, on my first character on my Warlock, we ended up getting ourselves just a legendary chess piece, and my two teammates got a Ghost Shell and a Soros Regime exotic auto rifle, so not bad, one of us got an exotic on that one. Moving into my next Nightfall reward on my Titan, this time we ended up getting ourselves a Ghost Shell and my two teammates also got some legendaries, a Apple of Discord and a Deal Breaker. So not the greatest set of rewards. All of us got pretty crappy stuff on that one. And then finally for my last Nightfall of the week on my Hunter, we ended up getting ourselves a Sparrow Toolkit. So that was pretty cool. We finally got a toolkit to open up for a new Sparrow. And my two teammates got a No Land Beyond Exotic Sniper Rifle and a Legendary Armor Piece. So... That was really cool, I finally got one, I kind of wanted one so I can get a new Sparrow without buying one, and that was pretty cool. And then so we went ahead and opened up my Sparrow Toolkit, and we ended up getting ourselves a EV38 Laurel Bearer, so that was really cool. I believe all the new ones are the possibilities to get out of that toolkit, and the Laurel Bearer one is the yellowish one. I kind of wanted one of the elemental ones, I already have the solar one, so I was looking for the arc or the void one. Moving on to my weekly crucible rewards for my first character, we ended up getting a spare change pulse rifle at 304, and the perks on it were Outlaw and Grenadier. So not the greatest perks on it. I'm probably gonna end up using it for infusion or dismantling it. Moving into my second crucible reward of the week, we ended up getting two rewards on that one. We got a split shifter pro and a ship, so that was pretty cool. The split shifter pro was 299 with Battle Runner and Eye of the Storm. It also had accelerated coils down the middle, so pretty good stuff. I'm not really that big on fusion rifles though, so I don't know if I'm going to keep that one or not. And then the ship I got was Mine Bleacher, which is pretty cool. It looks very similar to the new Iron Banner ship, so I definitely am going to rock this new ship as well. And then finally, for my last Crucible reward of the week, we ended up getting ourselves 17 Strange Coins. So uh, that was pretty good. At least Strange Coins can help me buy some stuff when Xur brings anything good that I might want to pick up in the future. Like maybe those new exotics that still haven't been added to the game. Um, I know there's a few of them that haven't been added yet for Taking King. So when that comes around, um, I'm definitely going to benefit by having more Strange Coins because I have more opportunities to get it out of an engram or if he sells it outright I can just pick it up so pretty good stuff thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace